Welcome to Evening Prayer, my friends, on this Wednesday evening here at St. John's. Our texts for evening prayer this week are healing stories from Scripture. Healing is accomplished by God in all kinds of venues and all kinds of ways. God heals, we know, through the work of creation, through the presence of Christ, through the power of the Holy Spirit, as well as through the prayers and the support of the community of Christ. The biblical healing stories are as rich and as varied as our present experience. And this is one of my favorites from Luke 13. Now Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath, and just then there appeared a woman with a spirit that had crippled her for 18 years. She was bent over and was quite unable to stand up straight. When Jesus saw her, he called her over and said, Woman, you are set free from your ailment. When he laid his hands on her immediately, she stood up straight and began praising God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant because Jesus had cured on the Sabbath, kept saying to the crowd, There are six days on which work ought to be done. Come on those days and be cured, and not on the Sabbath day. But the Lord answered him and said, You hypocrites! Does not each of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his donkey from the manger and lead it away to give it water? And ought not this woman, a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan bound for 18 long years, be set free from this bondage on the Sabbath day? When he said this, all his opponents were put to shame, and the entire crowd was rejoicing at all the wonderful things that Jesus was doing. Healing here is described as freedom. Woman, you are freed from your ailment. Freed, yes, in her body, but imagine the freedom, the healing freedom for her spirit freedom from ridicule, freedom from shame, freedom from only seeing the world by looking at people's feet. No wonder she stood up straight and praised God. Healing comes as freedom, even if our sickness may not be cured. Healing brings freedom. And tonight, at the end of the day, we pray for that freedom for all who are sick. Let us pray. Lord Christ, you came into the world as one of us and suffered as we do. As we go through the trials of life, help us to realize that you are with us at all times and in all things. To realize that we have no secrets from you and to realize that your loving grace enfolds us for eternity. In the security of your embrace, we pray. Amen. May the peace of all peace be yours this night in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for praying with me tonight. Rest well.